They see that triggered slide that was along I-70 this afternoon. Crews are working very hard to mitigate the danger to drivers up in the high country, but you know, they just can't keep up. That's because the avalanche danger really is historic. The experts say not since the 1950s have we seen avalanches cascade down the canyons like we have this week. And the Colorado Avalanche Information Center worries things are only getting started with the avalanche danger. It is extreme in four parts of our state, those you see in black right there. Our Matt Croshaw begins our weather alert coverage live at the scene of that latest slide, Matt, and just amazing to just imagine the power when all that debris came down that mountain. Jim, when CDOT throws around words like historic, this is why. I want to show you the sky shoots. This is what ran and actually ended up hitting Highway 91. So you can see the amount of snow and debris that came down here across the highway, completely covering lanes of the highway. And it's 15 feet deep in places. That's why those three cars were buried. And it's trees and rocks and all sorts of debris, not just snow. So you can see the amount of work going on right now, but don't expect Highway 91 to reopen. This is just the latest in what has been a long day that started earlier this morning with a similar situation on Vail Pass. A tow truck is usually the last vehicle on the road you think that needs towing. I was probably going about 25 miles per hour. I mean, the, the visibility was, was nasty out. Um, could barely even see in front of me. I was probably the only guy on there, I thought. But this truck was hit by a wall of snow early Thursday morning. And as I got down to uh, mile, I think it was mile marker 178, um, I noticed a couple, I noticed a truck parked uh, with his lights on and then a, a CDOT truck, then a tractor trailer had already veered to the right. Lloyd Gallegos was on Vail Pass too. He came across the avalanche path. I got closer, I noticed there was probably like about, it looked like 13 foot of snow up in, up there. And he's lucky because at first light, CDOT brought down more controlled slides that covered the westbound lanes. This season has been historic, I do believe. With 15 feet of even more snow and debris. This is an unusual season. Mother Nature's power on full display in Colorado high country. It's kind of, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying, but it comes with the territory with this job. You talk to the locals up here in Summit County that have been here for a long time and they'll tell you they've never seen anything like this before. And in fact, CAIC now telling us as far back as there's records, including back to the mining days, there is nothing on record of a slide actually reaching Highway 91 and covering this section of the highway. So they were not even mitigating this section of the canyon. They have so many other areas that they were worried about. But here we are, and this is the result of yet another massive avalanche. I guess the best news in all this, no one was hurt or killed. We're live tonight in Summit County, Matt Croshall, covering Colorado first. You know, Matt, as you were interviewing that tow truck driver, we saw the huge piles of snow that have been cleared out of the way in that parking lot. Those mountains of snow have to be everywhere in the high country now. Yeah, Jim, and it just keeps piling up and we get a day where things start to uh, melt a little bit. The sun comes out and then boom, another storm hits us up here. So they are starting to run out of places to put all this snow in the towns. And of course, along the highways, just the amount of work for these CDOT crews mm -hmm. out here and the mitigation crews for this avalanche danger. It is almost too much to handle right now. It is definitely uh, something that most people have never seen before. Matt, you're so right. A big shout out to those CDOT crews and the Colorado State Patrol. Thank you. The heavy snow is